Okay, uh, hello, internet. I haven't made a video in a long time. I've been, you know, doing that <clears throat> reality thing, getting a kind of a job, making a website. Someone just emailed me. Ooh, okay. Uh, so, I just got this in the mail today. Like, literally, I just got home like a few hours ago. I just hooked it up right now. This is the propeller chip. Can't probably can't even see that shit. Uh, <clears throat> this is the propeller. It's called the Prop RPM, the Rapid Prototyping Module. I had tried to do it this way, but I was using a five volt power supply. This is the other one. I think I burned this chip. It has a little prop clip. Whoa. Prop clip. It's awesome. It's a yellow USB interface, and it has this cool like two LEDs, and you can't you can't miss that. <clears throat> anyway, so. I got this because all the chips are socketed. It has a serial interface. Uh, so then, the example I was trying to do was this one. Probably can't see this. But the propeller tool does this cool thing where it formats the code in these colorful blocks. And uh, this is the display example. This is from chapter 3 in the PDF. Well, it's the manual. You can download it free from the internet. So the cool thing is that <coughs> you can't really see with these two lines. They just get um, some basically, let's just call it like black box code for a TV interface and like, I guess, for some processing of numbers and stuff. So, <clears throat> all I did literally, I'll do what I just did. I copied the code from the example. I pressed F10, which is the compile and run model thing, button thing. Then, <clears throat> comes out of here, this is the chip, comes out here. <laughs> to the TV, bam, there's some like count by number, count by five, and I don't know, you can see this now, can you see that, there's a text display, it has a, the propeller actually has a font inside of it, inside its memory, and then it's just counting by five and like multiplying some numbers, so that's it, uh, bye.